He was released on no cash bail, and now he's in the wind. District Justice Xander Orenstein released Hermas Craddock of Sharpsburg on a non monetary bond after a high speed chase. And today, Craddock failed to appear, appear in court. KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan, who's covered the magistrate's bail decisions in the past, says this isn't the first time his defendants were no shows. Andy's here live. Andy? Well, that's right. Orenstein came under fire when suspected fentanyl dealer Yuan Cepeda fled to New York City. Sheriff deputies made three trips to New York in search of Cepeda, and tonight they're looking for Craddock. Sheriff Kevin Krause says his office is tired of spinning its wheels. He stands accused of leading state police on a high-speed chase down Route 28, nearly ramming two state troopers and tossing a weapon from his car. But despite this and a history of violent crime, District Justice Xander Orenstein set him free on a non-monetary bond. He clearly demonstrated he was a threat to the public, to the people in Sharpsburg, and he was a flight risk, again, clearly demonstrated during that vehicle pursuit with the state police. But tonight, Hermes Craddock is in the wind, failing to show up today for a bail modification hearing and another hearing at city court. New arrest warrants have been issued, and sheriff deputies are searching for him. We initiated a, uh, a fugitive investigation uh, for this individual this afternoon after these warrants were um, released. It's a frustrating repeat of events for Sheriff Kevin Krause. In September, Ornstein came under fire for also releasing suspected drug dealer Yuan Cepeda on no bail, and Cepeda failed to appear at his hearing. Sheriff's office was forced to spend $30,000 for detectives to travel to New York City three times to find him. It's frustrating because, you know, there, there's a balance between considerations that go into bail. I get it. You know, there's new philosophies in play. I get it. Um, but, you know, if somebody's a threat to the community, certainly we take that seriously. And our goal in this case, today is to apprehend this individual as quickly and swiftly as possible. Now the sheriffs went to Craddock's home in Sharpsburg, but he was not there. Now once again, they are in search of a fugitive released by District Justice Orenstein. Andy Sheehan, KDK TV News.